for proficient teacher, meaning ang objective po natin are applied knowledge of content within and across curriculum teaching area. So ano yung objective, ano yung mga ano, MOV na isasubmit, MOV na isasubmit natin? Ang COT lang po, meaning ang classroom observation tool natin. Tapos yung rating sheet or inter-rater agreement form na pwedeng mag pumili tayo sa mga option. Option 1, option 2, and option 3. Again po, ang options natin ay depende po sa modality na pinili natin sa classroom. Meaning, if option 1 is not available, then go to option 2. If options 1 and 2 is not possible, then you can pick option 3. So, ayun po. For highly proficient naman, which is to model effective application of content, content knowledge within and across teaching areas, ito naman po yung MOV natin. So, yun din po, COT, but with proof of attendance of colleagues from the, during the observation. So, it could be from the different options. Option 1, if not possible, then go to option 2. If options 1 and 2 is not possible, then go to option 3. So, again po, lagi lang nating tatandaan, if you're a teacher using highly proficient tool, you need to have a COT with proof of attendance of colleagues. Para naman po, mapakita natin sa kanila yung practice natin being master teacher. At least for them, ma-adapt nila, ah, ganun pala, dapat magturo ang isang guru. Ayan, let's go naman doon sa second objective na nangangailangan, na nangangailangan, nabulol ako doon, na nangangailangan ng COT. Another objective which is specifically objective number five. As you can see po, in our presentation this time, pinagsama natin yung objective na nangangailangan ng COT. Ha? So the second objective na nangangailangan ng COT is objective number five. For proficient, it says, planned and delivered teaching strategies that are responsive to the specific educational needs of learners in difficult circumstances, including geographic isolation, chronic illnesses, displacement due to armed conflict, urban resettlement and disaster, child abuse, and child labor practices. practices. Ano po yung MOV natin? Ganun din po. COT din po. At para sa Teachers following highly proficient tool naman, yun po din yung kailangan natin. COT with proof of attendance of our colleagues. So doon, nandun pa rin tayo sa tatlong option. Ang next objective naman natin na nangangailangan, na nangangailangan ng COT ay ang objective number 7. Itong objective number 7 for profession teacher po or for teachers using profession tools, ang sabi po ang objective po ninyo ay selected, developed, organized, and used appropriate teaching and learning resources including ICT to address learning goals. As you can see, itong objective po na ito ay hindi bago. Nagamit na po natin ito last year. Kaya parang kabisadong-kabisado na si teacher dito. What we're just thinking po is paano natin ito ibiblend sa new normal. So ayan, for highly proficient, same din po. Advice and guided colleagues in the selection, organization, development, and use of appropriate teaching and learning resources, including ICT, to address specific learning goals. So nakita po natin dito, nakita po natin na same pa din, COT din yung kailangan natin. We have options 1, options 2, ay options 1, 2, and 3. So mamimili lang po tayo kung anong option ang applicable sa atin bilang guro. Kasi alam natin magkakaiba po yung, yung, ano po, yung context ng ating division. 